Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we have a new ball release video today from Rotogrip, which is the brand new Attention Star. So my Attention Star, if you guys can see, it's pinned down underneath my bridge. The mask kicked further away. So this one, uh, we went over to the shop and put a different layout on this just to kind of round out the lane front to back. Um, and this has the E-Trax Pearl Reactive cover sock. But it also has the Momentus AVI AI core. Sorry, I had to have my nose. Um, but it has the Momentus AV AI core. So let's talk about the cover. So the cover has the E Trax Pearl, which is slightly weaker than the Micro Trax, which you will see in the Exotic Gem, Magic Gem, and the original Gem. This E Trax cover was previously seen on the TNTs, I believe, which one of my favorites is the TNT Infused that has the E Trax Plus Hybrid. This is the E-Trax Pearl, so it's a decently strong pearl cover stock with an asymmetric core. So we're going to be comparing it today to a virtual energy blackout. It's laid out the same way. Actually, I think my blackout is pinned underneath my middle finger, but it's very minute. Um, but we're going to throw some shots here, and uh, we'll talk about what the differences I see and you know how this fits into my bag. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be talking in between shots about what I'm seeing on the lanes with this new attention star. I recently did shoot 300 with this um, in one of my leagues, playing a little bit straighter, um, but with able to play a little bit straighter just because of the layout on this too. First shots always hurt. First shots always hurt. So yeah, so the attention star is um, right now, from what I heard, heard it's a big, big. Um, I wouldn't say seller, but it's a it's a good ball for the guys on tour. Let's put it that way. A lot of people really like it on tour. They're probably throwing it this week on forty five feet or something. It's got a decent amount of friction there, so this ball will definitely come in handy. Lord. So obviously, as you can see, I'm going straighter, not loose at all, but you can still see this one packs kind of a punch down lane. And this is, I drilled this one to be a little bit more continuous and not have that. Whoa, wow. No. Yeah. Now what I do also is I do um, touch up these shiny balls just to knock the shine off of them. Learned that from Darren Tang also too. Um, just because sometimes even the really aggressive shiny balls, sometimes they just come out of the box too shiny. So you need that, need it to start up a little bit sooner to kind of do what uh, the ball is designed to do. So we're just going to keep moving left. Oh, that's in. Yeah, so that's a, you know, another sign that ball likes to retain energy and go through the pins, you know, with some force. Four pin, nine pin, I'm starting to get my hand around it and, you know, actually starting to get loose, even though it's like my fifth shot. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, it's uh, very curious how this is going to do towards, um, Comparing it to the Blackout, because the Blackout is one of my favorites right now. Oh, my lord. That was an interesting hit. It's like a 9-pin kind of hit, and it messed into the 10. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Also, too, I think these grips are a little bit big, because it is cold in here. So my hand is not as swollen as sometimes it should. Or is. It should. Jeez. It's pretty good. That one you could definitely see was a little bit more um, controllable off the back end than in the oil. Um, like I was talking about in our harsh reality, those stronger bowling balls when you throw them to the friction, 
they tend to kind of roll off of it and burn up. That one was closer to the friction for sure. And it wanted to not go sideways like the shots that I missed in into the oil where it retained all that energy till the back and then that's when I nine pin. So a little ball motion there. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. But yeah, so I'm definitely probably going to drill another one um, just to be a little bit quicker down lane. Um, so where it sees that friction, it really wants to come off of it. I've had some recent success with some of our bowling balls in the line from, I don't know why I just reset it, sorry. Um, quicker bowling balls from Storm Products. Um, recently just had a 50 with my Exponent Pearl. Ball's disgusting, so please check out that video. Um, and then TNT and Fuse, Sublime. Um, those are all really good quick options. Now, this would be a slightly stronger, in my opinion, than the TNT and Fuse because it's an asym or asymmetric. Um, but it's going to go a little bit longer because the TNT and Fuse is a hybrid. Yeah, so you can see once it goes to the friction because of that layout, it is a quicker bowling ball but because of that layout, kind of rounding out the lane, um, the layout that the guys at the shop gave me. It's definitely wanting to control that back end a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We'll throw one more shot with this. Attention star. And then we'll go into the blackout. Oh my, please hook. Oh. Dang. dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, let's go right into the virtual energy blackout. All right, so like I said, the virtual energy blackout believe it is a slightly weaker core and the cover is it's a cleaner and it's as clean as the attention star but i'm expecting this one to be a little bit more smoother down line yeah you can really see that's why it's probably one of my favorites right now um had a lot of success with this at the holiday doubles this past year just because it is a very clean option, but it's smoother on the back end. So, you know, you're able to manipulate it a little bit more. Um, I have two of these actually, balls just that good, um, where you go a little bit more up the back, keep your angles more in front of you, or, you know, trying to do what I'm doing and trying to open up the lane a little bit. Oh, that's got a hook. Yeah, so I definitely, it's definitely just as clean. I think the attention star may face up just a hair earlier, um, but the attention star is definitely more down lane. And even when I drilled um, my pin up virtual energy blackout, it's still not as much as if I drilled a, a pin up attention star. good yeah it's very clean blackouts very clean to the fronts but just that nice predictable motion that personally i like to see um and a lot of people you know also like to see so now we'll stay in the same spot and i'll show you that attention star real quick Pull in. See that one? I kind of twirled it a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and throw another one for you guys, but definitely twirled that one a little bit more, but you can definitely see through the pins. It's a lot uh, more continuous than the, or more pop down lane than the virtual energy blackout, uh, which is good. Not going to lie. I wasn't a, I wasn't a huge fan 
Well, I can't even say I wasn't a huge fan, but I never threw the exotic gem a whole lot because it's so stinking strong. Um, and the clone just didn't match up for me. So this one, I feel like I'm going to be able to use this one a little bit more. And I dead missed that at the bottom. But makes me look like a superstar. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to throw one more shot in my blackout. This blackout's just too good. Too, too good. Uh oh. Yeah, that blackout's nasty. So, we're all done throwing some shots, and let's talk about a tension star. So, tension star, as you can see, it's pinned down underneath my bridge middle finger, pretty much my bridge with the mask kicked out. Now, normally we put, wouldn't put this kind of layout on a asymmetric pearl, but we wanted to try something different. Um, so I really wanted to see the ball, uh, talking with the guys at the shop, really wanted to see the ball kind of continue very well through the pins. I have this virtual energy blackout that is pinned down as well. I'm gonna try to lift it up at the same time. Uh, pinned down underneath my middle finger with the mask slightly closer to my thumb. Um, now, as you guys can see in the video, the attention star definitely wanted to come off it a little bit harder than the virtual energy blackout, where this would nine pin, four pin, have that high flush nine pin hit, that 10 pin messenger, whatever. Um, really wanted to continue through the pins. And with it being pinned down, it's pretty impressive because if I drilled one pin up, which I probably will, it's going to be really quick down lane. So I'm very intrigued about that. I probably will order another one just to be a little bit quicker down lane. Um, and then the virtual energy blackout, when this was four pinning, nine pinning, that high flush hit, that one was clean through the front part of the lane as well. Red kind of in the same spot, honestly, but it just wanted to roll off the back end, which I like to see that predictable kind of versatile shape uh, that I can throw on a bunch of different lane patterns, surfaces, everything. Uh, where this one is going to be kind of that same thing, just more continuation through the pins. So uh, where it'll fit in Storm's lineup, maybe yours. I think this is going to be, obviously, as you can see in the video, it's going to be a more continuous, more down lane than the Virtual Energy Blackout. But I also think it's going to be a slightly cleaner and weaker than the uh, Exotic Gem. The Exotic Gem is a really strong bowling ball. It's probably the strongest pearl I've ever thrown. Um, and it's just hard to throw it you know, and the stuff that we bowl in around here, um, just because of the friction here and it, that exotic gem, all the gems like to tumble. That core is just so big. The covers are so strong. It just really likes to tumble. Um, but it's great for the, you know, sucker lane conditions. This one is going to float through it a little bit more and it's going to have more continuation through the pins. So like I said, I'm probably going to drill another one so it could be a little bit quicker. Um, but I think it's going to fit that little window. Um, it's going to be more continuous than your blackout. If you kind of flat 10, you can go to this. Or if your exotic gem just chugs and chugs and chugs in the mid lane, this one will go through that a little bit more and you know pop through the pins and give you that nice continuous uh, down lane motion for an asymmetric pearl. So thank you guys for watching. Head over to your local pro shop today. Um, it comes out today, February 16th. So head over to your local pro shop, DWOB. Um, go on stormballing.com. If you haven't got it pre-ordered, what are you doing? This ball is... Really, really good. I've already had an honor score with it. Um, and I really like what I'm seeing out of it. So that's why I'm going to drill probably a second one. Um, the guys on tour really like this ball. So I feel like you guys need this ball for that, you know, the slicker lane conditions where you want a ball to kind of pop down lane, um, get something different in your bag. Tension Star would be a good, very, very good option um, to fill that gap. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, head over to coolwhip.com. Use my code RMCormick10 for this nice, comfy Storm Polo. Uh, thank you to Krista and Lee Sant with Bowler X. They do a fantastic job, whether you're a tournament bowler like myself, an average bowler that just bowls in your regular leagues, or um, you know, a pro shop. They have everything that you need when it comes to um, BowlerX.com. And also, too, thank you most of all to Vice Inserts for giving me the best feel in the biz when it comes to my thumb tape when I wear it, uh, finger grips, thumb slug. Cannot thank you guys enough. So, we will see you guys next time and go get your attention star.